Hello, I'm Tina from Simply Inspired and I'm going to be talking today about who we really are. <laughs> um, do we ever really know who we truly are? I think we're always in search of who we are. We follow our horoscopes, we try and pin a label on ourselves and we like to think of ourselves, if you like, with those labels put upon us. But our personalities and our characteristics and the way that we behave are always of interest to us. We take tests online, we follow apps on our phones, we play games on Facebook to find out who we really are. Everybody wants to know who they are. In terms of understanding ourselves, we need to start at basics. A lot of people grow up not knowing whether they are a certain type of person and often put upon themselves characteristics that the people have endowed them with. You're quiet or you're beautiful or you're loud, you talk all of the time or some quality that some other person has endowed upon them without really understanding why they might be a quiet person or why they might talk all the time or even why they've aspired to be so beautiful. Some of these qualities are driven by the way that we, if you like, are wired up from birth. Just like we tend to have preferences towards everything else in our life, our characteristics define us as people. And our characteristics are, if you like, broken down into very simple ways of looking at them to understand them. Today I'm going to use a very simple process so that you can start to understand how you operate and why you operate sometimes the way you do. There are obviously in the world people who are perhaps more outgoing and more extrovert and you see them all of the time. You think, oh, when you go out for a night out or you go out for a meal or you get with family, you think, oh, so-and-so is such an outgoing person. They're so, you know, they're always such a people person. They're always talking to everybody else or they're always the person of the evening, the, you know, the party person. Then you look at those people and you think, oh wow, okay, that's okay for them, maybe they're an extrovert. It's never quite as literal as that because some people who appear to be extroverts actually are not that confident and they can actually be quite introverted. And by extrovert and introvert, I mean extrovert outgoing, pushing something out, putting something out, always putting out as opposed to putting in. Introvert is simply going within putting things inwards, working within, keeping to oneself, being more introverted. Now I can almost hear you asking, can I be extrovert and introvert? You're always predominantly one or the other. So you have to ask yourself the question, would you get your work done at home or in work and then go out and party? Or would you party first and get your work done, your homework or go back to the office afterwards. If you answer the question that you would go out first and party and have fun, then obviously you're more extrovert and get your work done later. If you obviously have answered that you have the, your work done first and then party, then obviously you're more introverted and you prefer to get the task done. Which leads me to the next part of this, is people are often task orientated or they're more people orientated so they tend to have like to get something done as I've illustrated formerly and they get a task whatever that might be the house clean first go out or they'll clean the car and go out they get the job done or the homework or the coursework or whatever it is that they're involved in as a task literally done first and then go out and socialise and then go out and join the family and then go out and go shopping. A task oriented person always gets the job done first and then they, they play with help the people. If they're a people person clearly they will have gone shopping first, they would have gone off and done uh, something fun whatever that might be before they get their task done. It's not just about discipline, it's about how you're wired up, how you actually really operate when nobody else is looking. When nobody else is looking, it's you and what you like to do and how you're 
personality or if you like your characteristic there or your strongest characteristic show and a lot of times we don't realize that that we're acting perhaps on the qualities I've described here where you have if you like an introvert and extrovert you have a task and people orientated personalities on this grid you can be a mixture of these things yes you can but you're always more predominantly one or the other so when you're looking at yourself you need to understand the drives and the things that make you tick if you know what makes you tick you know what job you want to do what career you want to pursue why you like doing the things you do you might be working in retail with people all day and you can't stand people and you should be an IT guy or an IT girl sat behind the desk an IT person somewhere doing something else okay but a lot of times you don't realize that so people's personalities are not that complicated they fall into simple categories of being some of these qualities obviously you can establish more within a personality group and you could start to establish more within a person but using an illustration of myself I have a people personality um, but I have also a lot of task and I'm pretty evenly matched in task and people and so therefore when I look at myself I think well mostly I'm an extrovert okay I'll speak to the camera first do the notes later figure out the detail okay and so when I when you are evaluating your friendships when you're evaluating your partners you will understand them better when you understand how they actually tick and therefore not fight not get into situations you don't really understand why they're behaving the way they do it is a proviso there are cultural differences there are different normalities within different um, settings that make people behave a certain way obviously so if you're working with Asian people you would expect them to be quieter and perhaps not as extrovert but it doesn't mean that they're not an extrovert personality just because the cultural norm is to be perhaps more polite or um, take more of a back seat with things so always remembering there are always cultural norms when we look at these personality types we're also looking at qualities such as as I've already said the task and the people but you're looking at other qualities there where some people are perhaps more stable more steady and even people who are perhaps more detailed fastidious and much more careful about how they do things these people the steady steadfast even um, very loving people who will do anything for anybody type people and the meticulous and detailed people who are very good as architects and mathematicians and various other things they tend to fall into the introverted group here whereas your task orientated and your people orientated people tend to run things and be on a front of the house and tend to be more working one to one with the people or actually bossing the people around so you can see how these sort of groups tend to establish themselves understanding these things about you understanding these things about other people and bringing these pieces together so that you can have better harmony with your friends and family your partners your spouses whomever it is okay even if you're a party animal not having having a great exchange with somebody else when you start to understand your personalities and you understand how you tick who you are when nobody else is looking then life becomes much easier and there's less to be afraid of and more to actually connect with thank you for listening please subscribe to the simply inspired channel i look forward to connecting with you soon